Ryan Fitzpatrick came off the bench Saturday night to help deliver a crazy and huge victory for the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders kicked a 44-yard field goal with one second remaining to give the Dolphins a wild 26-25 victory against the Las Vegas Raiders at Allegiant Stadium. Sanders' kick came two plays after Fitzpatrick completed a 34-yard pass to Mac Hollins while getting his face mask yanked, a penalty that added 15 yards to the game. The Dolphins somehow pulled out a victory when they appeared destined to lose after Daniel Carlson's fourth field goal, a 22-yarder with 19 seconds remaining, gave the Raiders a 25-23 lead. The improbable victory helped the Dolphins keep control of their playoff destiny. They will make the playoffs with a victory at Buffalo in Week 17 or with a loss by the Baltimore Ravens against the Cincinnati Bengals on the same day. Carlson's apparent game-winning field goal was set up by a 49-yard pass interference penalty on cornerback Byron Jones on a deep throw from David Carr to Nelson Aguilar, who earlier in the fourth quarter had scored on an 85-yard touchdown reception. Fitzpatrick replaced rookie Tua Tungavailoa early in the fourth quarter and led the Dolphins to two scoring drives, including a 59-yard touchdown pass to running back Miles Gaskin that gave Miami a 23-22 lead with 2.55 left. Fitzpatrick replaced Tungavailoa early in the fourth quarter with the Dolphins trailing 16-13 after the offense went three and out on three consecutive possessions, all of them featuring a sack. Fitzpatrick immediately led the Dolphins to an 84-yard field goal drive to tie the score, though the offense failed to get into the end zone after a 31-yard completion to tight end Mike Jasicki gave Miami a first and goal from the four-yard line. The Raiders answered on the long touchdown pass to Aguilar, though Carlson missed the extra point attempt. Carr, who played the whole game 10 days after sustaining a groin injury, Threw deep downfield after scrambling out of the pocket and Aguilar slightly pushed off Jones to make the catch and then avoided safety Bobby McCain in the open field. Tunga Vailoa, who was pulled from a game for the second time since taking over as the start in October, completed 17 for 22 passes with a touchdown, but for only 94 yards. The Dolphins again played without leading receiver Devontae Parker, who missed a second consecutive game with a hamstring. Though Jasicki and wide receiver Jakeem Grant both returned after missing a game, Grant left the game early with a knee injury. Tunga Vailoa, who also was benched against the Denver Broncos on November 22, threw a 10-yard touchdown pass to running back Miles Gaskin in the third quarter. Gaskin, back after missing a couple of games while on the COVID-19 list, rushed for 87 yards. The game had a familiar look for the Dolphins, who for the third time in four weeks were kept out of the end zone in the first half before scoring on their first drive of the third quarter. The Dolphins tied the score 13-13 by driving 75 yards on nine plays, the last a 10-yard pass from Tungavailoa to Gaskin. Gaskin had the biggest play on the drive with a 24-yard run into Las Vegas territory. But the Dolphins' offense struggled most of the night with Tungavailoa at quarterback. The Raiders took a 16-13 lead on Carlson's third field goal, which capped an 80-yard drive highlighted by a 33-yard completion to Waller. That set the stage for Fitzpatrick's appearance into the game and the crazy, and ultimately disappointing, finish for the Dolphins.